I'm Zach, and this is my wife, Emily, and this is our son, Max. We built our first house entirely by ourselves, and now we're working on our next project, a small waterfront cabin on a lake in East Texas. So subscribe and follow along. All right, we've built ourselves some scaffolding here. Looks a little sketchy, but it's actually pretty solid. We have it strapped to the post on the other side, so it's gonna work out fine. And I was able to plane the top surface of that beam up there, and I've got it pretty flat, and uh, seems to be pretty level with the, uh, using the rotary laser, it looks pretty level. And I've also been using this long straight edge. It's just a 12 foot box screed, but I've been using it to check for flatness. It dips down a little bit there, but uh, it gets pretty flat over here. So I may just have to shim up these joists that are sitting in here. And I'm just working on uh, just kind of laying out where the joists are gonna go, just so we make sure they're all gonna be perfectly square. It on that corner again. Just checking square. Good. Yep. We're just pulling strings because our our foundation beams and stuff, they're not perfectly square. We got them as close as we could, so. This is gonna be your lives the next six months. Six months. So we're just going back and we're uh, finishing up bolting the tops of the posts to the beams. We just have a couple more to do. And uh, we've laid out with some strings um, where our perimeter of the house is going to be uh, just to make sure it's going to be straight because these boards, the beams aren't perfectly straight so we'll use the string line as reference. So yesterday we finished bolting up all the tops of the posts to the beams and uh, we went through and laid out where all the joists are going to go and we got a couple of the joists up there. So today we should be able to just start um, laying all the joists out and cutting them to length. Yeah, hopefully we can get them all up today. So We got a little bit of rain last night but not really enough to make it muddy or anything. Let's see if we can get this done. So the joists we're using are uh, BCI 6000s, Boise Cascade, and they're uh, 11 and 7 eighths. Um, and then on the sides here, I went ahead and got this extra LVL. This is an inch and three quarter. 
going to be butted up against one of the BCIs. And this is going to kind of make me a little beam to span this uh, width here. And uh, once I have this all mounted in place, there'll be another post that's going to come up and uh, attach here. I just wanted to have a little bit of extra support on the sides here since this is going to be a load bearing wall up to the roof. So yeah, this should make a pretty strong beam to uh, support the roof. And then this is another, there'll be another load bearing wall down this beam. And uh, my joists are going to be butted up against each other here. Um, they'll have an inch and a half of bearing, which is the minimum bearing for these joists. And then um, they'll be blocking here as well. And then that will support the load that goes up to the roof. Well, no, we probably should do it over there because it's in the boat.
All right, well, we were able to get all the joists up and in place. Um, they're not permanently attached yet. I still have a few things left to do. So I'm running a uh, string line across, and I'm using some spacers, and uh, that way I can go back and uh, check to see the uh, if we got the right spacing everywhere. There's a couple that are a little bit low. Um, and I should have done this first before I nailed this rim board. Uh, I just forgot. But uh, I'll come back and just cut these nails on the ones that are low. There's only a few. And then I can shim those up to be perfectly level. And then re-nail it. So yeah, I'm going to do blocking down the middle. And then the, uh, the front and back sides. Wherever there's going to be a load-bearing wall, you're supposed to put uh, blocking. So yeah, I'm going to run home tomorrow and pick up the plywood for the subfloor. Um, I have that back at the house. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get that stuff installed over the weekend in the next uh, couple days before we get a lot of rain. Because um, once the subfloor is on there, it'll be a lot easier to roll out tarps and stuff like that. We got a little bit of rain just after we got all the joists up, but uh, it wasn't really enough to soak in or anything. So yeah, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like. It really helps us out. And uh, subscribe if you're not already. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.